Hey, what's up everyone? 2D Toys back with another video. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that sub button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. We have tons of great content coming your way like this guy. And for today's figure review, we're gonna be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Animated Universe Bumblebee. And like we always do here, we'll take a quick look at the packaging and we'll slide him in a little closer. You got a nice picture of Bumblebee there in his alt mode. There's the figure and a window packaging. Uh, animated Universe Bumblebee right there. The Legacy United artwork. Transformers on the side with the Generations logo. It's a car Tommy. Uh, not much on top. You got the cardboard hanger. Legacy United logo again. Uh, this side you got the 40th anniversary Legacy artwork. That looks really good. In fact, you got some product shots of both modes, robot and alt mode, 22 steps, the 40th logo again, Bumblebee. Inside you got some more artwork there, a full body shot of Bumblebee and a little bit of a profile picture. Not much on the bottom, just words, barcodes. So packaging always looks pretty good, but we won't waste any more time. Let's get this guy open and check him out. I'm Bumblebee. I'm sorry. Oh, Adobe. I like my name. No, I mean my name is... What are you? I'm an Autobot. And here we have Bumblebee opened up and out of his packaging. We'll take a quick look at some of the details he has. Start with the head sculpt, nice painted face. Nice shade of blue for the eyes. Got the horns molded in. Triangle there on the head. Some of the details on this guy is a little hard to pick out. I tried to turn the lights down some on this yellow. It's really hard to make out some of the molded details, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, painted chest here on this completely translucent plastic. Autobot symbol looks good. Black stripe there. The wheels are all molded and painted nicely. They all look the same. Little bit of detail. Molded detail on the front of the arm. There's some car detail on the side. This detail. And then moving on down to the legs, there's a little bit of detail here. We got some of the fake car front there for the toe. Black stripe on that side. I like the asymmetrical design. Same on this side, same details going up the arm. A little bit of molded detail here on the crotch plate, if you can see it. Details here on the back, more for car mode. We'll take a look at all that later. I uh, got some sculpted detail on the back here, the back of the legs. And there's the actual car front for the heels. So a decent amount of molded detail. I will say, with this being painted in the backpack, it looks like on that translucent plastic, they did a good job of matching the yellows here. I don't know how well that's coming across, but it's actually pretty close. A lot better than they've done in the past. So that all looks really good. There's some molded detail there for the bottom of the feet also. And it looks like about it for details. Let's get him set down here. We'll take a look at some of the stuff he comes with. For accessories, of course, you got a sheet of instructions here. Uh, your typical Hasbro instructions. Pretty clear. Pieces are highlighted in red that you need to manipulate. So all that looks really good. Uh, he also comes with a pair of these translucent smoke gray rockets. The port there on the back. Decent amount of molded detail in there. Two of those exactly the same, and then you got a stinger weapons here. Molded in this translucent blue with some silver paint. Uh, one's got a peg, one's got a port there, so you can peg them together. So there you have that. To attach the stingers, we'll have to open this panel up here. And we'll flip the wrist around and rotate the hand or the arm, excuse me. Go ahead and open this one up. They're kind of designed to be used together. If you try to use them individually with the way this is angled, it, they kind of point out to the side. And then you can use the elbow to kind of bring the hands in together. 
Just plug one in on each side. And then the, they'll just peg together like that. So then you get that look going. And you can also take your stinger and your booster piece and they'll peg in together. And they'll just plug into his hand for more traditional gun look. And you can take those same combined pieces and plug them into the back for a jetpack look. And we'll take the same combined effect piece here. And plug it in on the side. For a weapon look, and you can also detach it and plug it in back here. And we'll go ahead and grab the other one. And there you have it as turbo boost. And let's take a look at some of Bumblebee's articulation. Uh, ball peg in the head. Get you all the way up. No real down. Swivel. And a little bit of side to side, although it's super tight. Engine the shoulder gets you out to there. You can drop that shoulder joint down and it'll get you all the way out. Shoulder goes up to about that far, although there's a secondary hinge in here, so if you push it all the way up, you can get up a little bit more. And with both of them, get you back to about there. Elbow swivel there. Single jointed elbow gets you about 90, although you can use that second joint and push it a little farther. Wrist swivel. A swivel in the waist. Upper thigh swivel. Hips will get you out to that far. Kick forward that far. And back to about there. Single jointed knee, but all this is opened up. So you get quite a bit of range out of it. A little bit of toe up. No real down. And you got your ankle rocker. It's on a snap there, so once you break it loose, it's kind of all in or nothing. And I guess you get a little bit of heel articulation there if you need it. That's about it for articulation. Here we have him stacked up next to some other characters from the animated universe. You have the Deluxe Class Prowl and the Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Here we have him stacked up next to a couple other deluxe class bumblebees. You have the Netflix G1 style bumblebee and the bumblebee from the Rise of the Beast movie. And size wise, looks like a bumblebee's coming in at about four and a quarter. It's a little on the smaller side for a deluxe. And let's go ahead and get this guy transformed so we can check out his alt mode.
And here we have Bumblebee transformed in his alt mode. We'll take a quick look at some details. Uh, you got the black stripe there all down the same side, the red light on top, the Autobot symbol. Silver for the headlights, black on the front grille here. And you see the silver wheels again. No real details or paint on back. Eh, a little bit of sculpted details, but no paint whatsoever. There's that door handle detail. Bottom cleans up fairly decent. And lots of translucent for the windows here. I kind of wish they would have went with the same smoke gray that they used for the boosters. Would have helped hide some of this. There's that roof again that's painted and you can kind of see a little bit better the color matching. Not too bad. So we can try to catch some of these details on the back here. A little bit on the bottom, some taillight details. A little on the spoiler. That's about it for details in alt mode. And here we have the only size comparison that really matters. Uh, Bumblebee next to the other animated releases. They're next to the Optimus. You can see how they scale. And next to the Deluxe Prowl. So you can kind of see how they scale together. Whoa! Somebody down there likes me! And final thoughts wise, the, the details are fairly decent. A lot of the molded detail gets lost in the yellow plastic and it's a little hard to see unless the light's right on it. But where they painted it, the paint looks decent. I wish they would have picked out a little more details in the back of the car mode. The paint on the, the canopy looks good. Uh, they did a good job matching the, the paint to the plastic, which the track record shows they haven't always done a good job at that. So it looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the completely translucent windows. I wish they would have went with the same smoke gray as the accessories. Yeah, I think it would have helped hide some of the hinges and joints inside there. The accessories are decent enough. I have no issue with the smoke grade, the translucent boosters. Uh, I think they got a nice amount of detail on them. I think the stingers and the translucent blue looks good with the silver paint. I do wish they incorporated into the figure a little bit better. I don't like that you can only really use them combined together. A lot of times in the show, he used them one at a time. So I wish there was a way you could manipulate them to where the stingers didn't have to be off to the side with that angled joint. The articulation is kind of middle of the road. I mean, it could be worse, but it could also be a lot better. I like that the single jointed knees will get you a nice deep bend, so that all looks good. It's nice that they included a wrist swivel. I know a lot of times on these figures, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. The shoulders are a little weird. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but with both of those hinges, at least you get, kind of get the full range out of them. I know this guy's a little on the smaller side for a deluxe, so some people may feel a little cheated, but I think he scales well with both the Optimus and the Prowl in robot mode. I think they all look pretty good standing together. Alt modes are always a little iffy especially proud but i think he's more the outlier there not this guy i guess we'll just have to wait and see when they start giving us some decepticons how he scales with them too transformation is pretty fair everything moves like it's supposed to uh, there's really no issues and it's pretty straightforward i've been messing with him for a little bit here and he's pretty easy to flip back and forth the only issue that i've kind of noticed is when the arms come underneath the body uh, if you don't have everything situated just right they won't sit quite flush with the side of the car uh, they don't really peg in there's just a tab there that just kind of slots into the body but it's not a big issue once you get everything together he holds together pretty well he rolls well uh, no real issues with alt mode I think he looks pretty good, although I think they could have added some extra details there on the back of the car that make him really stand out. I'm sure that's something that Toy Hacks or somebody else with repro labels will do to help bring out some of that sculpted detail on the back of the car mode. And that's really all there is to say on this guy. This has been my review of the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Animated Universe Bumblebee. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Also, hop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this guy and whether you think you're going to pick him up. I'm always interested to know what you guys think about some of these figures that we're taking a look at. As always, I'll make sure I drop a link in the description below where you can find this guy. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave those links in the description below as well. And as always, I just want to thank everyone for stopping by. We really appreciate it, and we can't wait to bring you more videos like this. And until next time... For the love of toys, we'll see you.